Imagine losing 30% of your earnings, like $150 being deducted from your $500 earnings just because you failed to submit your tax info. That is how much you'll be losing if you fail to submit your tax info in AdSense after monetizing on your YouTube channel or website. Now, to tell you how important this is, if you don't submit your tax info in AdSense, by the time you receive your payment into your bank account, Google would have already deducted 30% of your earnings as tax for the US government. And to avoid this massive deduction from your earnings, you have to submit your tax info in AdSense. And if you're a citizen or a resident of a country that has a tax treaty with the United States government, you might be taxed lesser or even exempted. The tax is meant to be applied to only earnings from the United States. And if you don't submit your tax info, all your earnings will be assumed to be from the United States and all of them will be taxed. So to know how much you are earning from the United States alone on your YouTube channel, in your analytics, click on see more. Select the month from the date selector. Then click on geography, add the revenue metrics to the column. So if you don't submit your tax info, 30% of the amount you see here will be deducted from your earnings. But if you submit it, 30% will be applied to only the revenue you earn from the United States, which is the amount you see here on your analytics. To submit your tax info, go to the Google AdSense website, log into your account, click on Manage Tax Info, then click on Add Tax Info. Read the information before you start, and if you are satisfied with it, click Start Tax Form. You'll be required to log in again into your AdSense account to reauthenticate you. If you are an individual running this account, select Individual. If you are not a citizen or resident of the United States, select No. As an individual, I will select the first option, that is the W8BN. Individuals commonly use this and they can use it to claim tax treaty benefits, like their tax deduction can be less than 30% if their country has a tax treaty with the United States government. Then click Start W8BN form. The most important thing here is to choose your country and enter your permanent residence address. Others are optional. And if your mailing address is the same as your resident address, check this and click next to continue. If your country has a tax treaty with the United States, select yes and select your country to claim your benefits. As you can see here, Nigeria is not on the list because we don't have a tax treaty with the United States. So I will choose no. With this option, 30% tax will be applied to all my earnings from the United States. Then click Next, Confirm, and click Next. Enter your legal name here. That is the name you entered earlier. Then select Yes, I am the person listed, and click Next. Have you ever performed activities or services for Google in the United States? Mine is no. Then check the I certify. Select the first option if you haven't used this AdSense account to receive payment before and click next. Whichever option you want to receive your tax info, select it here. For me, I would prefer to receive it in my email and click submit. As you can see here, the tax info status is approved. With the approved status, 30% of the earnings from my US audience will be deducted as tax before I get paid by Google. And if your country has a tax treaty with the United States, just could be lesser or exempted. This is just a tutorial on submitting tax info in AdSense. 
For clarification on tax related issues, you can consult a tax expert and you can check the description for the link to Google's official webpage on this topic. To learn more about AdSense, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let me know in the comments if you have any question. Watch this video if you want to learn how to resolve the duplicate account error in AdSense. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.